Okay, next in this video, we're going to take a look at the most fundamental concept of analog synthesis, which is the waveform. And a waveform is simply a changing voltage over time. And when you have a periodic waveform changing over time, you generate a pitch. And that is really fundamentally how oscillators work, or rather how oscillators are used in an analog system. So you have your generator here that generates a changing waveform over time. And what we're going to do is just take a look at that. So we're going to use the simplest possible patch here. We're going to take a patch cord, a patch cable, and patch from the sine wave output from our generator here to our mixer, which will then take us out to the system. And we're also going to be taking a look at that waveform on the oscilloscope, which I'm running over here on my computer, a little software oscilloscope that we'll be using here for this demonstration. And by the way, this patch cable, this patch cord, is the reason that presets in a synthesizer are still called patches today. Now, I'm going to turn up the volume. So, taking a look at our oscilloscope here, what you see is a very simple shape that is kind of fixed in time, and what we're hearing is a steady pitch. And that pitch represents that change over time. And when we look at the oscilloscope itself, what we have here is a display of changes over time. And the horizontal scale across the bottom is time, and the vertical scale is amplitude or volume or gain. So watch what happens as I turn down the volume. Here, the level goes away, and you see the signal disappears on the oscilloscope. Turn it back up again, and like so. You see what's happening here as we increase the volume of the waveform, it's being displayed at a higher level on the oscilloscope. In other words, the amplitude is increasing on the oscilloscope display. So essentially, volume means amplitude, means loudness, means gain, all of those things. They're all kind of roughly equivalent. So when something is louder, it has a louder amplitude. When something's softer or lower, it has a lower amplitude. And what the oscilloscope is showing us is the trace of amplitude or changes of volume over time. And that's really what a waveform is. So again, our horizontal scale here is time. The units of time don't really matter at this point. They're actually in milliseconds or something like that. But that's not really our concern. What is our concern here is that pitch is a function of time. So we're hearing a steady pitch here, and we're seeing that the trace on the oscilloscope is not changing. Now watch what happens as I increase the frequency of that waveform. I'm going to just go to the frequency knob here on my oscillator and turn it up. And turn it back down again. And so what you see happening is that over time, the number of vibrations or the number of repetitions you see on the screen is increasing. So that the number of repetitions of that waveform that is visible on screen indicates the pitch of that waveform. The more of those vibrations there are within any given unit of time, the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch of that waveform will be. And in fact, that's measured in terms of cycles per second. And each of these periodic shapes here is one cycle from basically the peak to the next peak over. And as you increase those numbers of cycles per second, what will happen is the pitch itself increases. The term cycles per second, by the way, is also sometimes referred to as Hertz or abbreviated HZ for Heinrich Hertz, who was an early researcher in sound and audio. So in terms of Hertz or cycles per second, the greater the number of hertz, or cycles per second, the higher the pitch. The lower the number, the lower the pitch. And you can see that directly reflected in the oscilloscope because we have fewer cycles visible on screen in the same amount of time. Increasing the pitch means that we get more cycles per second on screen, and so we have a higher frequency. Let's take that back down again. Now, in our next video, let's take a look at some more complex waveforms and see what they sound like.